Hi, Julie here. I thought I'd put together this little video on how to fill in missing bits or to extend your frame um, in Photoshop. Um, as you can see with this image here of Nicola Page that we did for our Raven shoot, we shot on a rather large black fabric but it didn't quite cover the whole scene but I wasn't worried about it at the time because I knew it would be really quick and easy to fill it in. So I'm going to grab my lasso tool and I'm going to just roughly draw around and select the area. Right click inside of it and go to fill. Make sure you've got content aware selected up here. You've got a couple of different options. So you can select your foreground or background um, color, etc. But I want to make sure that content aware is selected. This will get Photoshop to fill in from the surrounding area. And voila, there you have it. It did a really good job of filling that in. So if I want to fill in another area, I'll just go over to this side, fill again, make sure content aware is still selected and click next. And there you have it. Now to deselect the little marching ants, you can come up to select and hit deselect or control D will uh, also do that as well. Now this is far from perfect, um, it needs to be um, fixed up a little bit but I also want to expand my frame a touch. So I really want to make it say a 16 by 9 but I don't want to crop it in. So what I'm going to do is drag my corners up. Now Photoshop is trying to put black in there because that is my background color but what I want to do is hit that little content aware selection again and hit the tick and Photoshop will match all that up. And there you have it. So that has changed that to a 16 by 9. Obviously if you want to recrop it back again you can. You can just change your crop um, ratios. But what we can do now is I can come in and I can start cleaning that up. So I'm just going to, um, with a combination of my heel tool on a separate layer and my clone stamp, I'm just going to go through and clean this up. So that's where we are after I have done the heel and clone stamp. Pop back in the next video and I will show you how to add a slight blur to the background. We'll also add a texture to really um, enhance the image and also some really quick and easy lighting effects to finish it off. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.